Lopez with Foreign Pilates, and today I wanted to talk about what your clients hope you don't find out. You know, your clients might be problematic, they might not be showing up for their sessions, they might be complaining, and they hope that you don't watch this video and that you learn how to kind of deal with that. And I know that in my business, uh, I'm at a point in my practice where I don't have clients like that. I Very, very rarely do I have clients that are problematic and complain and don't pay on time or any of those things. I have great clients that pay on time. In fact, they're happy when I raise my rates. They're like, that's great. They love working with me. They evangelize for me. They tell their friends about me. Um, I go for drinks with my clients. I love my clients. And I don't have very few uh, that are a pain in the ass, essentially. Uh, but it wasn't always like that. And through the years, I've really cut the fat. I've really, um, you know, let go of the clients that weren't the right fit for me, that were problematic. So today I wanted to talk about how you can do the same. And I know that it might be hard to imagine, and you know, in my coaching, especially my business coaching, some of my Pilates teacher clients, they have no concept that that's even possible. You know, they don't even have the idea that they too could have a really easy Pilates practice with great clients that they love and no issues. So first of all, I, want you to let, I wanted to let you know that from my experience, it is possible. And today I wanted to share with you my plan to help you do that. I heard somewhere that you teach your clients how to treat you, which I believe is wholeheartedly true. So they're like children, kind of. And, you know, when you have problem children, they really don't want to be disciplined. They really don't want, or maybe I should say, they do want to be disciplined, but they don't know it. And when you don't have discipline and you don't have rules and you don't have boundaries, they act up. And so I think it's really important for you as a teacher to be able to give them some kind of structure and to follow through with that like you would if you were a parent. So we're going to make a plan today. Actually two plans. Plan A, plan B. First off, plan A. I want you to really make the rules clear. You know, figure out what are the things that you want to happen in your studio. How do you want your business to run? And have it written so that you can have your clients sign it. They can see it written, but also verbally communicate with them. These are the rules. This is how it goes, right? And you have to hold them to the consequence if they misbehave, just like you would if a kid, with a kid, right? If you don't have any consequence to their actions, why do they? Why would they want to stop doing their behavior, right? So you have to have consequences, which leads me to Plan B. Plan B. So that's kind of your contingency plan, right? That's your your uh, exit strategy. So if it doesn't help you to be able to tell your clients, you know, hey, what you're doing is disrupting the class, and I'm not able to do my job the best, then you need to have a Plan B that's the consequence. So if you don't do these, if you don't obey by these rules, this is what's going to happen. And maybe that's that you find another instructor for them. Maybe that you recommend Sally up the street because she's better with whatever. Um, maybe it's that they have back pain and they need to really see a doctor or a massage therapist or maybe a psychologist because they're a little crazy. I mean, whatever it is, maybe it's not something that you're qualified to help them with and you need to try to pass them on. And if none of those things work and they're still showing up and they're still wanting sessions with you and they're still making your life hell, you need to let them go. You know, you need to release them with love and hope that they have a great life, but really you have to not be afraid to let them go. And I know from so many of my coaching and in my own life, it is scary. It's scary to lose a client because you're afraid that you won't get another one. But I will tell you from my firsthand experience that when you let go of a client, if you let go of a problem client, and I hate to say fire, but if you fire a client, you will get 10 clients in their place that are just amazing. And that time and energy that you were spending worrying about that client, getting stressed about that client, you can put back into your business and it's gonna come back tenfold. So remember, like this video if you like it, share it with your friends, and leave a comment below and let me know how this worked for you, what things you're struggling with, and how you're going to really change how your clients treat you. You have the power, you can do it. I believe in you. See you next time.
Um, it's okay, Lauren. I'm gonna cut it. So. <laughs> Thank you, Miss Lauren. <laughs> she quietly exits stage left. <laughs>